Yo guys, Insane Gamer 52 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to easily get to round 100 plus in a new round based void objective on Vanguard Zombies. If you learned anything new in this video, a like rating is always appreciated. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to see more in depth guides in the future. Alright, so getting right into things, you will want to be running the Einhorn Revolving Shotgun with the Ring of Fire artifact. Real quick, the attachments that I run on the Einhorn Revolving Shotgun are the M97 Full Choke, Clouser 710mm Barrel, Any Optic You Want, VDD Hunter Stock, Pine Tar Grip, 16 gauge 7 round cylinder magazine, and the SMLE pistol grip. These attachments focus on maximizing your ammo, hip fire accuracy, and range, although range won't really be an issue for this strategy. Don't worry if you don't have all these attachments unlocked yet. Honestly, this strategy would work even if your Einhorn Revolving Shotgun is level 1 with no attachments. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is unlock the map so that you can buy your perks. You honestly only need Fiendish Fortitude, Venomous Vigor, and Diabolical Damage, but since you need to get some specific Legendary Covenants, you'll end up playing enough objectives to open up the whole map anyways. As you go through the early rounds, you'll need to pack a punch your weapon, buy perks, and upgrade your armor, but make sure to save at least two Sacrificial Hearts. You're going to need to save those hearts so that you can get Legendary Ammo Gremlin, Dead Accurate, and Unholy Ground. Legendary Unholy Ground doesn't actually give you any extra damage, so if you only end up getting the Epic version, that's perfectly fine. You can also use Death Blow instead of Ammo Gremlin or Epic Deadshot instead of Dead Accurate or Unholy Ground, but the first three I mentioned definitely work the best in tight situations. Cryo Freeze combined with Cold of the Week also works, but isn't as consistent if you get into a sticky situation, so if you do run this, I suggest also running Stun Grenades. If you don't have any of these yet, then make sure to save at least two hearts at the end of each round, just in case you get an extremely lucky altar and have all three pop up at the same time. Since you'll get another heart for completing each objective, you only need to go in with two hearts beforehand to be able to afford three covenants afterwards. Once you have one of the good covenants, you can just save one heart, and once you have two of them, you don't have to save any hearts at all. On the rounds where you have extra hearts to spend, make sure to upgrade your Ring of Fire to max level at the Tome of Rituals. It really only needs to be level 4 for this strategy, but level 5 will help you take out Stormcriegers even quicker, which is nice. After you max level your Ring of Fire and are just going through the rounds waiting to get your final covenants, feel free to use the extra hearts on anything that'll make the objectives easier. When you have your final set of covenants, level 5 Ring of Fire, tier 4 perks, and level 3 armor, head over to Von List's office and enter the Void objective. Once you get to Shinonuma, head directly downstairs and into this dead-end hallway with a window. This is where we're going to be spending the rest of the game. Right now, Ring of Fire deals enough damage to one-shot zombies at any round without even needing to shoot your gun. And kills from the ring's fire count towards the 45 kills you need for the next charge. So honestly, you can go an entire round with the ring charging itself and killing every regular zombie. You will have to shoot Sturmkriegers, but you can kill them with just 2 or 3 shots to the head when you're inside the ring of fire, and 4 shots if they catch you between charges. Unfortunately, it takes until around 25 to 30 for the zombies to be moving fast enough to get 45 kills during each ring's duration to charge the next one, so you will need to kill a bit with your shotgun in the earlier rounds, or if you use a ring at the end of a round and don't get enough kills to charge the next one. When you use the ring of fire, make sure to use it in this corner to your right so that it kills all zombies before they can even get to the entrance in front of you. The ring actually kills in a sphere around where you place it, so this kills all zombies coming from every direction on the other side of the window and the wall to your right, and even kills zombies upstairs to help the rounds go even quicker. This will still work if you don't push all the way up and to the right in this corner, but the ring won't kill zombies until they're right in front of you, which will just end up slowing down the rounds. As the rounds get longer and you need to use more and more rings to get through each one, don't be afraid to use a ring before the duration of the previous one runs out. You can have multiple rings active at the same time and will continue gaining progress towards the next charge as soon as you use it. Since you have 15 seconds of free time between uses of the ring, feel free to move forward and grab armor or equipment at any time. You don't really need salvage for anything, so there's really no need to loot everything at the end of the round, but it does give you something to do to cut up the monotony of this strategy. The one downside to this strategy is that at the moment you can't pause Vanguard Zombies unless you play offline. If you need to go to the bathroom or just need a short break from the action for any reason, you can always escape back to the Stalingrad hub at the end of any round and take a quick break. Just be aware that if you don't move for more than a couple minutes, you will get kicked for being AFK, so make sure to do things quickly. You should be safe just standing where you spawn in the middle of the town square area, but if you want to be extra safe, you can clear out all zombies from a corner of the map and go AFK there. The strategy is so easy that literally anyone can reach round 100 with no effort, so I'm expecting them to nerf this in the near future. This spot will likely still be viable regardless of the nerfs, but may actually require you to shoot zombies more often. 
The nerfs that I think are likely are reducing the damage that the ring actually deals to zombies so that they have a chance to reach you without instantly dying, making it like Cold War where you can't start charging your next ring until the current one ends, and even something as small as just increasing the number of kills required for each charge from 45 to 50. All of these seem like reasonable ways to balance the currently overpowered ring of fire, so I honestly wouldn't be surprised if we see any or all of them applied in the future. Just to prepare for when this does get balanced, I'll try to find some other non-Ring of Fire strategies to prepare for the inevitable nerf, but if you want an easy high round record, then make sure to use this before Ring gets balanced. So what do you guys think about this absolutely broken high round strategy and about Vanguard Zombies in general? I think it's fun for a bit, but honestly going for a personal best or even world record will be so boring with this strategy. It took me over 4 hours getting to round 115 and I saw MC Zombie Slayer get to round 257 using this strategy which took 11 and a half hours. That is a very long time to be doing something so simple. I may spend the time to go for a higher round than the classic 115 that I did for this video, but honestly I don't know how far I could go without being able to take long breaks. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you found any part of this guide helpful let me know by dropping a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe for more in-depth guides in the future. I stream on YouTube multiple times a week and post important zombies news on Twitter. Check the description below for all my socials. Alright, that's all I got. I'll see you guys next time.